Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I am unveiling my new DD4 infographic, newly updated. <clears throat> I go through, I've added Secret Avengers, I've added New Warriors, I've I have uh, added Shang-Chi, lots of changes this time around. Let me get right to it. <clears throat> now, one thing I will just say is my, my philosophy towards DD4 has always been for is that really you can get through DD4 pretty easily with any sort of reasonable group of, of characters. In other words, obviously you don't want to choose like all tanks or all stealth characters or whatever, but as long as you have some reasonable group of characters, you're going to get through. And I really think you should not be obsessed with trying to one-shot every node. You know, I get people asking me all the time, like, well, you know, will this group of characters one shot the node versus this other group of characters? And if you're entering DD4 right now, like that should not be the focus of your account. Your focus should be, as I say here on Reflection 1, I don't think people actually read this stuff. Focus on the characters who are going to bring the most value to you outside of DD4. So if you need a character for the Doom Raid, then for by all means, focus on that character. If you need a character for your arena team or whatever, that, that is what you should be doing instead of focusing on what is slightly better in the node or not. Uh, I, and the other thing I would just say, too, is if you're a newer player, you don't need to have five characters in, in, to get through these nodes. You know, we all of us who are doing this from the early and early on, uh, we're do, doing it with just four characters. We didn't have blue ISO. You know, we were all at level 80 and we got through it you know, just fine. If it takes you a few extra days to get through, it's not the end of the world. Just get through in a reasonable pace. <clears throat> so I've totally changed global here. Uh, I've kept the choices that we already had because frankly, before this in the old draft, there weren't a lot of good choices left in global. And I added the secret Avengers. They're all top performers that, that uh, fiery halo is for the people who are focused on one shotting the nodes. Now, one thing I will say is, you know, if I was running this right now, would I bring the Secret Avengers for sure? Because they're needed for the Doom Raid. They're really top team. They're very new. They're going to have a long shelf life. You know, characters like Sinister and Emma uh, and even Ghost um, are not going to have that long of a shelf life. Uh, they're older characters and so forth. I think Ghost is always going to have some value in Dark Dimension, at least in, in, the, in the foreseeable future. So I, I don't think bringing her up is disaster but certainly that character like sinister is really power crap but i've left them as top performance for now because i haven't spent a lot of time you know lining up these characters against one in, in one another and figuring out which is exactly better than the other <clears throat> the other reason why i left you know i considered dropping some of these characters out of here like dropping x23 sinister emma etc but right now, there aren't a lot of mutant choices for people. So if you have mutant uniques and mutant gear, a lot of uh, newer players trying to figure out where to use it. Obviously, X, the dad bros and cosmic are a great option. You could also bring up multiple man to city. But, you know, one option is certainly to use some of them in global. And it's not the worst thing in the world if you're gearing up, let's say, Emma Frost or Sinister or something. They're, they're fine as a fourth character. So I wanted to give players options. And I really think, you know, it's it's up to you to make the right choice for your roster. I'm not here because every roster is different and every situation is different. I'm not here to tell you what the right choice is. All I'm doing is give, telling you what various reasonable choices are. And that's kind of, as I say here up top, <clears throat> there's no best team. There are reasonable choices. So here, would I bring the Secret Adventures? Sure. Uh, but are there players for whom that may not make sense? Maybe. Maybe. You know, if you've got a lot of, let's say, mutant uniques, you need to do something with those or, um, you know, something like that. You're very war focused and you really want your Zemo up or something like that. You're, you have a seven red star red guardian. You really want to use him in the skill portion of the Doom Raid or something like that. There are other reasons why you might want to go a different route. But I really think Secret Avengers, because they're so cheap, are a great option. Obviously, a lot of skill uniques needed there. For Cosmic... Um, I have, uh, added death pool and I decided to take out Thanos. And the reason I took out Thanos is Thanos is a mystic character. And it just seems to me that if you're going to spend mystic uniques, I just don't think Thanos is worth it at this point. 
uh, you know, really, you might as well bring in, let's say, Deathpool or bring in, um, uh, you know, a character like Silver Surfer. I just don't think it's worth, you know, it's worth it. I do think <clears throat> the Dad Bros are still great choices for Mutant Uniques. Obviously, Infinity Watch is very strong. There's just a lot in this category now. It's very crowded. I considered taking off Minerva, but, you know, there aren't a lot of great tech choices here. Uh, you know, Kestrel is half tech. Uh, but you know, really goes to Minerva. Are two of the good tech choices that are left, uh, obviously. So is and Nebula is another choice that's there. And I just think, you know, because Minerva is War Store farmable, you know, I think it, it's she. I, I'm leaving her as an option. She certainly, at, at, for a long time, was one of the very best options for Cosmic. At this point, she's very much outclassed by a lot of the other ones on this list. And uh, if I were you know, entering DD4 right now, I would certainly be focused on some of the super characters uh, at the top of this list with the uh, halos here around them, some of the newer characters, whether it's Kestrel or Infinity Watch. City, I totally have revamped. This has really changed a lot. So I used to have the symbiotes uh, with the fiery hal halos around them, and I took them off. It, it seems to me, and I did, I had a video out recently, uh, which I link below, in which I literally went through on Node 12 and I compared a Symbiote team to a Heroes for Hire team to Cloak and Dagger. And it's pretty clear to me that the real high performers here are Cloak and Dagger, with whom I think it's pretty easy to one-shot the Node, frankly. if you, I mean, I almost... I mean, I set up a two-shot without even trying. I mean, I was just clicking buttons and talking while I was streaming, and I was able to do that without even thinking about turn order or targeting or anything. Uh, so I, I just think they're the high performer. Shang-Chi also just elevates the Heroes for Hire to another level. The other four members of Heroes for Hire without Shang-Chi um, were not even, you know, they, they were getting wiped in the first wave. But once you added Shang-Chi, <clears throat> the full team was awesome. Uh, I don't have an Iron Fist here because I think for the cost, he's not all that great. But if you want to bring up the full team, you certainly can. And I've used the full team. It's not awful, but this is a pretty crowded list. In fact, just to fit who we fit in, I took off Punisher. I took off Night Nurse. I just think they're both uh, skilled characters, and there's just so many other great skill choices. I think for a newer player, if you're going to be going skill, you, know, you, you really probably just want to bring up the Secret Avengers and Global. Obviously, you've got Kestrel and Gamora. Uh, in Cosmic, you know, so I just feel like, and obviously you've got Shang-Chi here and Colleen. You see have a lot of great skill choices. I think those are now uniques that are really tough to get and, and Night Nurse and Punisher are no longer as important. Uh, you know, back, I thought having Punisher at 36 um, uh, uniques was decent because he at least had a good war team. He still has a war character, but just that team skilletary isn't as important as it was a few months ago and you know night nurse has been eclipsed by the um by the secret avengers so I, in in the skill notes of the doom raid so i just think right now you know obviously if you have cloak and dagger they're an amazing choice uh, the symbiotes can be are still very good choices they're good you know a good use of bio uniques because really you're not probably using them elsewhere uh, but a lot of new players don't have all the symbiotes the, uh, there's plenty of new players that have struggle to unlock symbiote spider-man and anti-venom and so forth so you know without symbiote spider-man um they're not really that strong and so real you know i do think there are some definite other choices out there so and then legendary is really where it was i get a lot and it has been i get a lot of questions from folks you know regarding legendary and essentially saying you know well you know, I don't want to invest in any of these characters other than Adam Warlock or Jubilee. And I think that's fair to, fair to say that it's a fair point. I mean, I'm not very excited about a lot of these characters. The legendaries in this game are pretty bad right now uh, in terms of their impact in the meta. Uh, I will say that Adam Warlock is certainly the only true meta character here. Uh, but Doc Ock is okay. <clears throat> I think he is uh, okay character. Uh, you know, definitely is used very useful in war. Still, still a top, you know, sort of top character in war. And you know, he's got. You know, I do use him in the Doom Raid. He's not 
the most important part of my tech team, but he's there. Phoenix has some use in war. I mean, she's still a useful character in war. She's usually used on war defense. You know, Ebony Maw is part of a useful war team. Jubilee is, you know, part of the, you know, the kind of most important mutant raiding team or the mutant raiding team. She's in it. You know, I use Shuri and Technodes and in, in the, the, uh, in the Gamma Raid as well. And, of course, I also uh, use Black Bolt uh, in war. Uh, although he's not as central as he once was, you know, he's sort of a peripheral war character. So these these are okay-ish characters uh, for the most part. And they're, you know, I think any combination of these characters is going to get you through, but the high performers are the ones that are listed. Jubilee is kind of a mixed bag. You have to really know how to play her because when there's Ebony Maw there, if she dies, uh, you know, you sh it's going to give the enemy team... Um, uh, barrier and immunity, but you know these the the real star performers to me are Doc Ock, Phoenix, um, Ebony Maw, and Adam Warlock. But any of these are fine. The important thing is there's a lot of great choices for players, um, and I will continue to update this. I try to update it as best I can with new characters. It definitely requires uh, a lot of keeping up because that's what Scopely is doing, just releasing characters uh, constantly. Um, but there have definitely been some good ones, and for the first time in a while, players now have a lot of choices in City. Uh, I think new players now are going to have an easier time than ever getting through DD4, especially with Blue ISO and the ability to start leveling above level 80 as they work their way through DD4. I will also say Doom is a fantastic choice, maybe the best character or close to it. Um, certainly in global, he's amazing. I don't have him on this list because this is really focused on players who are running DD4 for the first time. And of course you don't unlock Doom until you complete DD4. All right, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. If you have comments or questions, leave them below or go to my discord. That's linked below as well. My Twitch stream is also linked below. Uh, you can check that out too.